that's when it changed. One thing about Sharon, if I can feel the energy shift when I'm about to say it, the words find a way pop into my head. Like a lightning rod pops into me. I got so excited about it, I had an energy, I had a mindset change, I had a focus and a passion that immense, immediately was ignited. Did I know what I was going to do? Absolutely not. I got no idea, but I was moved by those words. They gave me hope. They challenged me to do something about my circumstance. The one word I'll use a lot, it inspired action. There's not a soul sitting in this room that can't take action. Two things consume me, if not overwhelm me, chemotherapy and dying. When I was a kid, I lost my mom tragically as a young kid. I understand the sting of death. I understand how losing a parent can wreck a home and change your life. There's one thing in my life I love doing and being, more than when I played in the NFL, more than when I worked at ESPN. And honestly, as much as I cherish and love this, I love it more than this. I love being a dad. I love my kids without end. Find a way has become a parenting tool. I've challenged my kids. My kids come up with something or want to do something, I'm like, first thing I say is let's find a way. I want to hear what their thought process is, get them engaged in it. And then, of course, I'll walk them through the journey. But it's also challenged me to self-reflect, open myself up. How can I be a better parent? After I get done talking to them, I'm actually more depressed than before I talked to them. They had confirmed the brutality of the journey, the hair loss, but they added things no doctor or nurse ever did. Like burn holes will just appear in your body, which it happened. But in my questioning, there was one lady, she said, don't, she goes, keep your routine. That becomes important. Keep your routine. Another guy said, you know what? You're going to need naps. You're going to get tired. It's going to be exhausting. Take them. That was important too. But my questioning and talking to them, I'd ask them, have you invested in your health? Have you been doing anything like that? And all of them said no to that. There's where I thought my advantage might be. I've been investing my, my health my entire life. Maybe I can use that to be uncommon in this approach. Well, I had done everything I thought you needed to do. I thought I'd ask every question. I get ready for that first day of treatment. going to be around 12 hours. I get there at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'd never walked into a more a colder atmosphere, just chair after chair after chair and poles. As I get there, I'm all by myself. I just sit in the corner where I think I'm going to be able to hunker down for 12 hours. I sit down, and then it hits me. I never ask the most important question. How fast does chemotherapy work? I never ask it. Is this an antibiotic? I start thinking. About then, the doctor walks in. I said nonchalantly, Doc, how fast does chemotherapy work? He drops his glasses and sits his papers down. He looks over at me and he said, in seconds. He's paralyzed by that. I was paralyzed because I didn't know what he meant by it, but I would find out what he meant by it. I can't get to the door fast enough, and all I'm thinking is grass stains, holes, and 599. As I get to that doorknob, yard six of his years, not mine, patience and perspective come over me. So I open up that door. I said, hey, Bo, come here. Bo comes running over. I said, son, why would you be running around with socks that I just bought for $5.99? He said, well, I'm faster, Dad. I've been there. You take your shoes off. You take your faster. I said, well, it's technically not true, son. And let me show you why. Take that sock off. Takes the sock off. I flip it around. There's those grass stains I'm telling you about. No holes because I caught him quick enough. I said, when you take your shoes off, I know you think your feet are lighter, you're faster, but you're sliding on the grass because you got your socks on. If you want to be faster when you take those shoes off, just take those socks I bought for $5.99 off with them. Then you're not going to slip or slide because your bare feet won't do that. He goes, really, Daddy? I said, absolutely, Bo. He said, thanks a lot. Off Bo goes. I never see Bo again run around with socks that I just bought for 5 dollars 